hello see I'm making another video because you know I've been you know I've been following what's been going on and I've seen that video from that person named David about his message to Alex Jones to come clean about this particular incident and like afterwards the day after someone like on coast to coast AM there was another woman caller and she's the one that essentially leaked information regarding the CF TC documents that talk all about weather modification, harp and everything and how it's being used as warfare and everything. And the thing is, like people are saying, "Oh, that's the Alex Jones caller and everything." But you see the thing is they've been yanking videos left and right and everything and I remember when I first saw the video about the guy's message to Alex Jones, it was, I'm not sure if it was in it's not in the video, but inside one of the comments, I'm not sure if it was from him or someone else who also claimed to have seen that segment or heard that segment on Alex Jones' show live, but some of the details were that this caller was female and she was using a voice augmentation device to disguise her voice. Now the person, the woman who called into Coast to Coast AM, you can hear her voice normal. There's no voice augmentation and she never claimed, as far as to my knowledge, to work for the Obama administration but this person who used the voice augmentation device said they work for the Obama administration and they saw a document saying something about pole shift occurring on March 15th on this year and that was the information pretty much I'm not I didn't hear this clip on Alex Jones show I didn't hear any of that but that's what I read in one of the comments someone said like I think it was the guy that posted the video but now like he's gone and everything like we don't know for sure and everything but that's what it was said someone with a voice augmentation device a woman claiming to work from Obama administration said that pole shift is occurring on March 15th now is it going to be pole shift is it going to be like a natural occurrence or you who knows maybe they're gonna that's the date they're gonna crank up harp to full power and boom like trigger all these earthquakes or maybe there is something natural coming on maybe the Sun is gonna send out some sort of big like you know plasma burst that's gonna trigger all these earthquakes here on earth and maybe harp is using to try and like block that out you know you never know it's multiple choice and everything in the sense like it's whatever you believe it could be but like i'm just like you know putting out what i saw like what i heard based on this and you know like i really don't care what they do to me but the way they're yanking videos left and right on this there's a lot of disinformation out there it makes me think that perhaps there really is something going on you know with this whole march 15 and here's another strange little coincidence you know my grandpa his birthday is on march 15 he's turning 87 my birthday <laughs> i'm 19 i was born in 1987 87 87 you know that whole reference again everything's connected it's weird you know but you know like you have to decide for yourself but the thing on this one is like that information is not really out there all you got to go on is people like you know hearsay at this point but and like you know i could be wrong but that's my perspective on this and honestly I don't think the coast to coast AM woman even though she says she tried she called into Alex Jones so she got cut off I don't think that's the same woman that the guy David in his video message to Alex Jones was referring to I don't think they're the same person you see there's some sort of disinformation bait and switch going on here I feel but you know like it's all about what you perceive you know like I'm the one who like you know my personal beliefs is what your focus becomes your reality. People meet, need to be made aware of this world and everything in it, you know. And, you know, my advice, you know, don't fight. Don't fight, you know, because don't fear. Don't fight, you know, just, but don't stay quiet, you know. You have to make your voice heard, you know. Raise your voice. People need to be aware of the potentials. And, you know, if nothing happens, you know, that would be the best case scenario. That would be the best case scenario. No one who is releasing all this information really wants something bad to happen. That's the last thing we want. We just want people to be aware that, like, you know, whether you believe it or not, there are big things happening in this world. Big things. Like cyclones hitting Australia. All these storms on, like, snowstorms on the mainland. Like, there's something in play. Riots in Egypt. Like, all these things, one after another, it makes you think of that Illuminati card games, the combined disasters. Like, maybe that's the card they're playing right now. You never know. But there's a lot of disinformation out there. Just thought I'd put my perspective out there. Remember, be love. You know, love is the key. It's going to save the universe. That's my perspective. Well, that's all I have for now.